in Terry's gift because I haven't gotten much of that. I hear that. I hear that, man. Uh, I mean, it's definitely been one hell of a year and a half or so. Everybody's, you know, adapting. We're starting to get to that offline era. But hey, before we get there, man, we got to get into this action. We got Slushy V1 taking on Hedgy. We got the Donkey Kong taking on the Robin. And man, I'm not quite sure uh, if these two ever played against each other. I'm not sure exactly how this match was supposed to go. What I do know, though, is that Slushy is uh, kind of nasty. <laughs> Definitely, and the way you get to fight against Robin can be a little tricky, especially if you're DK. Obviously, a huge target, very hard to escape. Look at these combos already 50%, and if he managed to get that fire placed in time, he could have extended even further. And I think that Levin Sword is going to be DK's vein here uh, because it's so hard to get out of that reach, and the damage is insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is kind of the problem with DK in general, man. I mean, every time we see a new Smash character come out, which probably we might get a new one in two days, and you know what they're going to have? They're going to have a yeah. zero to death against Donkey Kong. So uh, my point is, is that Donkey Kong just kind of has to eat some damage after a while. And, and then after that, they can start getting their combos. Like, look, we see 148 to 78, but you know who's actually in trouble here? Uh, the Donkey Kong. <laughs> I was going to say Hedgy, but no, they're going to be able to take out that first stock. Yeah, to be fair, Donkey Kong just needs a good encounter, a good trade in order to deal massive damage. Good gimp there, trying to avoid the uh, the recovery there, and well done. DK does have this in his advantage. He has huge hitboxes that linger quite a lot, and if you manage to not be able to escape them, you are going to suffer. This is something that a lot of DKs can capitalize on, and definitely Slushy is taking advantage of that, but Henji looking very dominant this first game. There we go. Has to go with the re-grab. And actually going to be able to get on just fine, too. I feel like Hedgy could have taken advantage of it. Oh, the air dodge. Yep, you're going to get grabbed again. Going to be tossing him right off to the stage to see what the edge guard. Okay, ledge trap. Never mind. There's going to be absolutely nothing. Oh, but a giant punch to take out that second stock. Jeez. Definitely something you need to take care of because if you get caught by surprise or not prepare for it, maybe even a frame trap, that's something that DK is so good at taking advantage of. Those frame traps that are really, really good, especially with up air, really strong, really destructive. But again, Robin with the 11 sword is going to take that stock away. Beautiful confirm with that elf fire. Absolutely. But here we go, man. We're going to be getting into the final stocks here of this game. I mean, we got 97%. It started off with about 66% extra credit before Hedgy lost the stock. But this is getting dangerous. 105 to 26. But oh, my God. Give me some health back, please, says Hedgy. Just trying to find some more damage. But, man, Slushy might be putting this away very, very soon if Hedgy's not careful. And now that he has the right tools, 11 Sword still got some charges. He might be able to deal massive damage. He just needs to confirm a good move. But Slushy here going all the way out, getting it once again with that Nair. He got it twice, and he's doing really good. That was too close, Skiff. I don't think uh, Hedgy was in a position to feel that he was a little too far or maybe uh, not doable. I think both of them have equal chances at getting this set. Remember, this is a best of five. Game number one goes to DK Slushy. Mm -hmm. Fantastic game. I mean, it did start off a little difficult for Slushy. I mean, it's just, again, we talked about it briefly. Donkey Kong just gets, you know, beat up sometimes. He gets about yeah. 70, 80%, maybe even 100% like we saw, and then he can start doing his own thing. You know, he's, he's got a lot of damage behind him. He, and honestly, it takes a couple big, strong openings to just turn the game completely on its head. We saw that with the giant punch, absolutely secured the momentum for him for quite a bit. Leading them all the way to that game one victory, but we're getting right into game two. Looks like we got a stage switch, and looks like we're going to our final destination. How do you feel about this one? Something, it's a stage that definitely, in my opinion, doesn't benefit DK at all. He does take advantage of a lot of the platforms, extensions, and the fact that he has a clean slate, basically, I think it benefits uh, a good choice here from Hedgy trying to negate all of those tools, but instead gets spiked and nobody gets a lead. Oh, both of them survive, trying their best to recover there, but being unable to, great job from both of them. I think it's a little risky, but hey, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, it definitely was an unfortunate situation for both of them. But you know what? They both lost the stock. He just basically reset everything and just go to a two-stock game here. Uh, not the worst scenario, but definitely, yeah, again, just not something that either player really wanted. But we'll see what happens right now. We're getting, again, getting into the second stocks. And 
Man, Slushy's trying to get some big damage here, but oh no, too high. Won't be able to get the up smash. Not sure if it would have taken the stock, but it definitely would have scared Slushy at least a little bit. That one will 100% close out that second stock. And we got Hedgy with a nice strong lead here. Yeah, those confirms are nasty and really hard to avoid. Nosferatu perfectly placed with the insane placement and positioning, but he's trying to get the stage by good tech from Hedgy, trying to avoid lethal damage and once again goes all the way out, trying to get the spike, unable to find it. Slushy is a man with a mission. However, Sl Hedgy is doing wonderful right now and trying to get the spike in return with those, uh, with those, oh. uh, oh, forgot their name. <laughs> oh, I forgot their name. What are those? Oh, wait, wait. I think it's Elwin. Yeah, Elwin. Yeah, that's, it's oh, Elwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, it was a bit of an unfortunate situation, but you know what? He's going to be able to take the stock right here. 100% is the difference. And honestly, I this could be anybody's game. It's relatively even, to be honest, man. I mean, it's just a matter of Slushy getting a few combos here, building up a little bit of damage, and then can they find a way to close the game out? But so it's really, it's up to Hedgy. Hedgy's got to find a way to close this out. It's their game to lose right now. That's a big opening, but won't be able to convert anything further. I definitely agree. Donkey Kong with this insane amount of rage can be devastating if he finds a good opening. So it's anyone's game, especially with these kinds of confirms that are so good for DK trying to go for those frame traps once again. Unable to find anything. Hedgy needs to get the winning kill, the winning attack here. Otherwise, it's just going to extend a little further just like that. Perfect DI there from uh, Slushy. Yeah, good stuff there. Dropping off the ledge again. Did not want to get caught up in the uh, arc fire into the Thoron. But here we go, man. 164. This is a full range Donkey Kong. This is dangerous territory. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. They're just throwing buttons around, man. Both players does not want to drop this game. We got the back air to put him off stage. Tries to get some going on. The beautiful tech out of the Naren. Oh, my goodness. The forward air with the Levin Sword to close out game two. We got Hedgy on the board. That was too close. That was clutch there from Hedgy. Beautiful job. However, that was a little too close, as you mentioned. And as we all know, Donkey Kong, with that amount of rage, those high red numbers are definitely something you need to ca to take care of. Otherwise, things, even if you're like in 60%, 70%, as you mentioned very accurately, things are basically even at that point. Because if DK gets the fighting, the, the perfect moment, the perfect attack, it's a stock gone like that. For sure, for sure. But hey, you know what? That's what it's all about. We're going to be getting into our next game here, which honestly could go a few different ways. I mean, we got 1-1 at the moment. So I don't know what stage we're going to next. We usually get a little tip at the bottom, but we're getting a Thoron. Oh, I would get I would, Okay, Ooh. interesting. Gallows. You know, this actually is not a bad stage for Donkey Kong. He can still get the Ding Dong off those side platforms there, but also just kind of a, extends his life a little bit longer. And He's already heavy. He's going to be living for a little bit, right? But outside of that, he can still get some really strong confirms, uh, especially if he starts getting these B-reverse uh, Donkey Kong slaps. I forget what the down special is called exactly, but we'll, we'll see what happens, right? Uh, but right now, oh, Hedgy's putting down some good damage. This is exactly what's going to be happening just about every game, every stock so far. I call them bongos. Those laps that the down here, I call them the bongo, the coco bongo, trying to get the spike right there. Instead, uh -oh. trying for another another gimp. It's something that we've seen that works very well. And something that I did want to mention, this stage definitely benefits quite a lot, DK, because not only uh -oh. that, he gets the beautiful confirm right there with the job luck. But it was, what I was trying to say is that do, the positioning of those platforms are going to be pivotal to not only get extensions, but also get kills with, uh, with back throw or stuff like that that allows him to confirm with the uh with the range that it has and the kill power that Dunking kong possesses mm -hmm. yeah this is getting kind of a, a little bit dangerous here for hedgy don't want to take too much extra credit especially when slushy starts feeling himself just trying to throw out some sort of thunder move at least one of the levels he's trying to get some damage trying to create some space but slushy just keeps getting into his face trying to create so much pressure finally gonna be able to take out that stock with that up air but 39 percent that's all he's gonna be able to manage but uh oh this could be no never mind all right he's gonna find his way back to stage uh i i was worried too much more yeah, and instead gets reversed. A good situation there for, for Hedgy, trying to take advantage of the positioning that he had. Really well done, protecting his recovery with those electric moves, as you mentioned, and again, getting those confirms with the fires really well placed. If you're robbing, you need to place them just right. It, it almost feels like a nest, doesn't it, Skiff? 
Uh, kind of, yeah. There's a bit of a difference to it, though. And he actually got really greedy trying to go for a third one, which yeah. I believe he was just trying to set up to that up air on uh, that Thoron. Or not, not that one. Levin Sword, I mean. But he's going to be able to close out the stock right there. We got Slushy now down. This could spell a lot of trouble, but he's just going to take Robin. Nope. Escort to the blast zone with the cargo throw. And we got a one stock game. Absolutely even up percentages here. Yeah, they're doing absolutely fine, actually. They're looking really good, but with these confirms, look at that beautiful 73%, just the one combo. It's something that a lot of Robins are really good at, but just the way that you can solidify these attacks are just beautiful. And that Levin Sword doing that last hit just to confirm the damage even further. I can't believe he actually just kind of juggled DK across the stage using arc fire. Oh, that's a that must have been missing. Well, I don't know what happened there. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I thought he was gonna be able to get the cargo throw. Does not is not able to find it. But man, they are in trouble. The upper not gonna be able to close up the stock, but they can't take any more of those. The back air not gonna be enough. Can they find their way back to stage once more? Yes, they will. But for how much longer, this could be it. Sayonara, see you later. Good night, the DI mix-up. Go to the blast zone, please. And Slushy is going to be taking your game three. Very smart there from Slushy. Uh, taking advantage of that DA mix-up, as you mentioned, and the uh, positioning of the platform. This is something that I've, I've mentioned before. That platform is just crucial for uh, grapplers such as Donkey Kong, which takes advantage of the insane knockback that it has to, to solidify these kinds of stocks when it matters really, really well implemented there from Slushy. Taking advantage of this, this exact uh, power that I mentioned earlier. It's just insane how he uh, pretty much played with his mind in that di mix-up right right oh wow man this has actually been a very good game a lot of back and forth stuff going on here and uh we're gonna be getting into the next game game four right we're gonna see how this all works out but uh we'll see we'll see um i honestly just don't know where these two are gonna be going at any point in time given the um you know, given the counter pick, but it looks like we're gonna see Town and City this time. I don't know how I feel about this for Robin. I mean, I know they've gotten a couple stocks off the side blast zones. We see the back air come out every once in a while out the arc fires and, and other things, but I feel like this helps out Donkey Kong a lot more than it yeah. does for Robin, especially once you get these platform extensions and just he kills so easy off the side. Oh my god, was trying to end that stock. I have to agree with you. Donkey Kong does get a lot of mileage from these positioning, uh, these platforms position. However, look at this with this insane confirm, almost getting the stock. Hedgy with a beautiful extension, good conversion too. And again, reading the roll with a forward smash, beautifully done from Hedgy. Takes a stock with a relatively early percent, not a lot on his name. And the uh, damage keeps piling up. Oh, oh no! Is he gonna make it back? Nope, he will not. He tried to get. He would have gotten back if he missed the uh, the edge guard. Yeah. But no, uh, Slushy's not gonna be able to drop that. You know, he's gotta find a way to take that stock. And here we go, trying to get something evened up here. Twenty one percent to twenty five. Just slams in the spot dodge. <laughs> just goes right for the bongo slaps. But here we go, man. Now we got Hedgy just putting down some crazy damage here, using his projectiles, using this Levin Sword to dictate the, the the tempo of the game. And oh my goodness, the double arc fire into the up smash. Going to be able to close out that stock, man. So she had no chance. Yeah, we've seen that happen again and again, and it's working. And just for a little bit of context for those of you in the audience watching, remember that Slushy is currently two games, uh, one, one game ahead with a score of 2-1. We had a bit of a problem there. Beautiful forward smash, trying to get the damage, the stock as soon as possible, and he finally gets it. However, the percentage is a little too high, and if uh, Slushy doesn't get enough percentage going for him, he might not be able to bring it back on time. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll certainly see. I mean, it is Donkey Kong. You can't count this character out until True. it's his game, man. He got, he's got a lot of damage on him. He's got crazy kill power. That's a good start there. I mean, just 24%. He's got a little bit of rage built up. You just keep giving him more rage. Let's see, that could be a real big problem moving forward here. Hedgy starting to take a lot more damage. Oh, my God. Tried to go for something crazy. Tried to get him out of the shield and just continues to get popped off stage. Oh, no. All of a sudden, <laughs> the stick belongs to Hedgy. I don't know what's going to happen anymore. 
Yeah, the percentage is extremely high for both of them, but as you mentioned, DK with these amount of rage is going to take the stock if he finds a good hit in. Both of them are at kill percent, but instead goes with the upper. Great recognition there from Hedgy, ex extending that hurt box, that hit box rather, uh, trying to catch him while the two frame uh, attempt was getting closer. Great done, great recognition, and now we're going to game number five. Both have equal chances at this set. Yeah, I, I, that was a really aggressive option while you we were off stage. Yeah. I mean, just because like, yeah, we can see what Donkey Kong does when, you know, he has uh, stage control. And I mean, he can go out there. We've seen it a few times from Slushy already. He can just run out there and nair because, I mean, it's a big, quick move. Can got some pretty crazy knockback and close out stocks. But no, man, uh, Hedgy had no fear. Just threw out a move, got the kill. And especially off the top, Blast Zone on Town and City. I mean, ugh. That, that was that was definitely risky, but it paid off because we get into this game five here. We're gonna see what stage we're going to. I'm saying we're going to PS2 to close it all two. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the the most even of all the stages. I think both of them benefit just as just as well. I would have to argue that maybe DK benefits a little bit more. Then again, uh, the matchup might be a little interesting to and, and and something that you definitely need to consider. However, he tries to get the frame chop, doesn't happen. He tries to get extended even further and finally gets something going for him. The percentage is high enough. If he manages to connect, he might be able to take it. However, we know that uh, Hedgy has been doing phenomenally with every single tool he has, especially those fire attacks that basically chain uh, one another and it's really, really dangerous for both of them. Beautiful spacing there from Henji. Ooh, I don't think he was ready for the fact that he got the second hit and that down special, he probably could have converted into an up smash. I mean, he backed off. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, but yeah, you, I feel like he wasn't ready. Oh my God, he got the nair off stage, jeez. Yeah, good trade definitely on Hedgy's side. He's still in the lead, but we know that uh, Slushy can go from 0 to 100 in a second. So you need to always keep in mind that that Donkey Kong is extremely, extremely dangerous. Trying to catch him with Nosferatu, missing there the V-Reverse just by a little bit. But the fire finally hits his mark and gives him a little bit of breathing room. But that move is going to take the stock. It's no matter what the percentage you are, it's going to be deadly. Yeah, man, the spinning Kong is definitely a, a move to be reckoned with if you're not careful. Uh, especially at those higher percentages, he'll just absolutely drag you all the way to the ledge. Just take off the stock entirely. It's got a strong hitbox, too, uh, and, and this knockback is just pretty crazy. But, oh, you rolled right into the forward tilt. Uh, Hedgy, come on, man. Well, then again, uh, DK's tilts basically cover the whole stage everywhere you go. Running there, running out of magic with that Zord, so it's not, not the best trade that could have happened. But mm -hmm. Hedgy's looking really comfortable at this moment with the pressure on the ledge, trying to get the two frame, unable to do so, but gets another edge guard opportunity, misses once again, and things get reversed trying to get the spike. Good recognition there from Hedgy, avoiding the Coco Bongos because that would have been devastating for him. Oh, the falling up air is actually going to catch Slushy as he attempts to get the spike with the forward air from himself. But again, escorting Robin. No! Good DI. Going to be able to survive just a little bit longer here. But how much longer? We'll see. Going to get the back air to put him right back off stage. Trying to maintain this stage control. And there we go. Going to be able to close out the stock. We're getting into a last stock situation in this game five. This is exactly what we want to see. That back air wall of pain that DK, DK can put out is just so hard to deal with, especially if you don't have the right tools. Really puts the pressure on, especially if you're at stage high percentages. It's incredibly oppressing, and this is something that Slushy's taking the most advantage of. Even percentages, even opportunities of winning. Remember that this is the last game of this set. Whoever gets the right reads is going to take the set. Yeah, uh, he tried to get that Nosferatu, but barely whipping on it. 73% now to 45. This could come down to just a really strong edge guard or ledge trap scenario from either player. Oh, Donkey Kong's got a book in hand. What happens when you teach a monkey to read? Okay, we're not going to see anything out of it. But still, we could have seen a nice little item combo from a DK. It could have been funny. Yeah, sometimes you... You, Go ahead, you, you I'm can't sorry. expect to get those. Sorry, you, you can't expect to get those items. Sometimes you grab them by accident. So uh, capitalizing <laughs> from them can be a little tricky. But again, even percentages, it, this is anyone's game, really. Mm -hmm. No, this is pretty much very even. As even as it could get in a situation like this. Wow, manages to get the grab. Not that Donkey Kong was going to be able to land with that forward air anyway. It was a really awkward scenario. But these arc fires, man. Oh, you're playing with fire and not in the literal sense, man. That Levin Storm does about the two frame you if you weren't able to get off that ledge safely. Ah, 
Ah, you're getting set up. Almost going to be able to lose the stock. 138. Not going to die quite yet, but that wow. Thoron will 100% close it out. It is crazy we didn't even see the kill screen because there was no way he was surviving that. The beautiful snipe with the Thoron, insanely well placed. Every single tool in this tactician's repertoire was used to the fullest extension. That was such a, an intense set. Very well deserved there on Hedgy. Good win overall. And I hope. Oh, this is loser. So that means that Slushy is out of the tournament. That's so unfortunate because this DK is really something else.